Hey, here's a video on uh, installing Rebug 4.81.2 on your PS3, uh, jailbroken PS3. Okay, so this is the, I just, um, what do you call it, patch the NOR on this. So when I boot it up, it's going to come in this mode anyways. When I jailbreak it. So, okay, let's talk about some features in this new um, Rebug 4.81.2. Uh, so what's new since the last update on their website, I'm reading rebug.me, about this firmware. Uh, the C00 Demo Content Unlocker. Um, demo content can be unlocked without activation. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe that means PSN content. That'd be interesting, PSN like PKG files. Syscalls 15 added for standard mode. Uh, allow execution of any level 2 internal functions. It's a little bit too early, I think, for me to uh, comprehend what that means right now. System call 780 re-enabled. IDPS can now be dumped without level 2 peak and poke. It was officially patched since 4.55, so I suppose this would mean um, uh, we could just... Uh, dump the console ID um, maybe automatically without opening uh, PKG files so essentially maybe we could just boot the game with a with a different IDPS that'd be cool okay so instead of opening PSN patch and pressing triangle and all that um, will we still have to do that? we may still have to do that but to, to spoof the console ID you don't have to press square to open it you don't have to open PSN patch and press square. Okay, next it says XMB notification removal. Fake save data owner and game quit. No request event will not be displayed. Oh, okay, so like when you're in Multiman and you mount the game from Multiman, you go back to the XMB and you see in the top right, uh, game quit, no request event. Uh, that won't be displayed. Although that's, I, I, if you know what that means, it's not a problem. Uh, I don't see why that's necessary. Um, because uh, maybe maybe um, something happened by mistake and you want to know what happened and it'll tell you that, okay, it crashed rather than rebooted or something like that. So uh, what that means, game quit, no request event, is um, the game has quit. Whatever, whether it's a game, whether it's an application or uh, a browser, I suppose, uh, anything you're in, uh, anything that's running on the PlayStation, and if it exits, and then it it doesn't have any um, c commands, it doesn't have any um, commands that has to follow through after that. Like it doesn't have to open anything else or perform any functions. Then there's no that there's no request. It wasn't requested for an event to happen. Uh, that's what that means. Game quit, no request event. And what's next? Let me just quickly flip through here. So these are the standard. Accept uh, things there. Okay, so Rebug Toolbox 2.02.12. Enough with the dots. Okay, so in uh, the new Rebug, PS2 NetMU Toggler for Cobra 7.5 and the multi-language version is also available. So if you wanted it in... Uh, I think there's like 12, 13 languages available, or more even. But in any case, so what's different about the uh, 12, 2.12 is um, the PS2 emulator. It's something you could toggle that. Uh, that I'll talk about that in another video. And next, it, I should mention first because it, uh, it has that PS2 net emu toggler for Cobra 7.5. It added Cobra 7.5, uh, this firmware update. Um, the changes are available in the Git repo, it says. Okay, maybe I'll go to that in a bit. Uh, Webman mod 1.45.09. Uh, well, I'll read it out. 5.09 has minor bug fixes, and the changes are noted in the Git repository. Okay, so um, since the update on January 10th, today's the um, 15th, there has been a Webman mod update 1.45.10 and um, 
let's uh, that uh, that's another video. I'll save that for Webman. So let's talk more about the uh, Rebug firmware. So that, those are where, that's what's updated. Um, there's uh, that's actually that's actually a big difference uh, in the Cobra seven point five. But anyways, so let's talk more about the firmware itself. Features for the uh, Rex and DRex editions in general. Uh, you could swap between CEX and DEX um, in Rebug Toolbox without an issue. Um, all retail functions available in CEX mode. No need to install a different firmware. Okay, so uh, for in Rebug Toolbox, if you switch from uh, Rebug mode to CEX mode, I guess. Um, all debug functions are available in DEX mode. No need to install different firmware. Okay, so this is just multi explaining multi-purpose firmware. Uh, full prog DG connectivity in DEX mode. Full support on both normal mode and Cobra mode. Okay, not sure. QE to token compatibility. Uh, that's really important. To, uh, anytime you want, you you jailbreak your console or install a custom firmware. You want to flash or you want to toggle your QA token from. Uh, active to inactive or whatever the case may be, you just, just toggle it so it's developer um, enabled. Uh, other OS++ support app enabled, so you could install other OS like Linux. Uh, package manager, the package manager is interesting, although there's, there's too many clicks, I find it a little bit inconvenient. Uh, app loader, level 2 memory hash check is disabled. Memory protection on level 2 is disabled on higher level. Okay, not sure. Rebug toolbox was there, we mentioned. And so those are the patch features. It goes on, but we're like we're already in, so we have let's check out. Let's check out the firmware itself because it says it added uh, webman. And let's go in here and let's see the package manager. Uh, package directory, do we have anything? No. P3 system storage. Okay, so that's great. So if we go into uh, package manager and install package files in PS3 system storage, they include Rebug Toolbox as always. So that's the first thing we should do. Install Rebug Toolbox. And I believe since this is the first time booting up since I patched the, the NOR to install a custom firmware on this PlayStation, I'm going to uh, toggle the QA like I mentioned, which is really important. And it's disabled, so let's enable that. That's that, and then we can quit. And um, so it said Webman was included. Why would it mention Webman mod unless um, unless there was something to it? They included it or something? No. Install package files, standard. No, it's my USB drive. Mm, I don't see Webman anywhere around here. I wonder what uh, they mean by Webman 1.45.09. Maybe it's compatible up to 45.09? Maybe 45.10 doesn't work on this firmware. Okay, okay, maybe I, I'm understanding that now. Well, that's it. Uh, I think I've explained the differences between 4.81.1 uh, and 81.2 of Rebug firmware. Also, uh, let's mention that it has the debug settings away at the bottom over here. And uh, this list seems to go on forever. And that's it. The red icons over here, Rebug standard, I guess. So that's the 4.81.2 Rebug. REX firmware. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.